Please open up your Bibles once again to the letter of the Apostle Paul to the church in Rome. I'd like to remind you of a couple of verses we looked at in Romans chapter 12. So open up there first, and we'll be getting to Romans chapter 16 in a moment. Romans chapter 12 begins the practical instruction, so, so to speak, for this amazing letter. And in verses 9 through 13, we have the commands of what love is supposed to look like among God's people. And so as a matter of review from what we looked into last week, I'd like to start off this morning with Romans 12 verses 9 and 10. Very important commands for us as the people of God. Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. So, there should be a, a friendly, loving competition among us to see who can honor other people the most. Instead of being a society where we're all sneakily seeking after our own honor and trying to get people to think highly of us, let's be the opposite. Let's be a group of people who are very wisely and cunningly getting honor for one another, for others, and not seeking honor for ourselves. Honor is a wonderful thing, but in this case, it's definitely more blessed to give than to receive. And one of the greatest pathways to honor is to honor others, as he who waters will himself be watered. And this love that we are called to have amongst ourselves is a genuine love. It's not a love that is put on. It's not a...